known for sea, sand, pasties and pads though, Cornwall is officially defined by poverty, which means it gets the highest level of European aid. Nowhere in England is bankrolled by the European Union the way Cornwall is, and it runs to hundreds of millions of pounds. Hefty handouts include £50 million for the iconic Eden project, £53 million to roll out superfast broadband, and £173 million for a new university. But Cornwall's economy remains on a par with Transylvania, and it doesn't get any poorer than this part of Penzance. There's little sign of recovery on the Trenere estate, and not much enthusiasm for Cornwall's benefactors in Brussels. I am voting, and it'll be out. And why? Because I think we save an awful lot of money and run our own country. We don't really need to be in the EU. But definitely out anyway. Right, I've got to go and get some electric. At the Estates Community Kitchen, though, these volunteers are firmly for Remain, and say the county's EU funding is hugely important. The local college is completely EU funded, I didn't know that. And it's a fantastic campus, and I wouldn't be there at the moment if it wasn't for the EU funding. I'm very aware that Cornwall has been a beneficiary of social funding. This funding is crucial. Many here feel they've been neglected by successive governments in London. But in this Penzance pub at least, that doesn't seem to make the flow of EU money any more welcome. You say the British government doesn't invest in Cornwall, the EU does, but you want to leave the EU? Well, I want to, I want to say if we leave it, it can't get any worse than what it already is. My gut instinct is out, because I think nobody's given us the information we need to know. It's all smoke and mirrors, people are falling out between themselves. And now it's no longer the EU, it's the United States of Germany. If Cornwall's complicated relationship with the EU tells us anything, perhaps it's that money really can't buy you love. Martin Oates, BBC News, Penzance.